Uh, new omen. I'll get the commerce income. Does anyone want to, like, piece me out, my dude? <laughs> Please. I don't want to be involved anymore. It clearly did not work. You want me to help you with a Signonian revolt? Oh, for fuck's sake, my dude. That's not, not at all what I want to be doing, no. I think it, it may be time to buy those mercenaries. I think I'm probably... Yeah, okay, I need... To, I'm only slightly going to go into debt if I recruit them. Like, I'm very close to being able to afford them. Um, it's like point, point 0.2 ducats a month I'll be in a deficit. The thing is, if I spend 100 ducats right now, I'm pretty close to not having any money. So I need to wait just a little bit. Also, let's go here and occupy Magnari, just so I don't get pieced out. Oh my god, stop Stop cancelling my trades. What, what did we lose this time? Sheep. Alright. Let's get the mercs. When in doubt, merc up. Yeah, I make... Oh, okay, I make just a little bit of money. That's good. I just heard that sheep. I did not know that was a thing that was in the game. Anyway, we now should be able to quite easily take over this place. I am a noob. Yeah, okay, that's fair. That's fair. I, I'll take that. But we'll get you up to full... You don't even need to be a full snuff. Can't imagine... Look, I'm not going to help you. This, this will be my siege. Please leave. That works. We should be able to comfortably win this one now. Morale was beginning to waver at the camp when my wife, I think, yes, uh, stood up before the simple soldiers and gave an inspirational speech. She convinced all who were present that the odds of battle were on their side using her extensive knowledge of military tactics. She's inspirational, so she is. She's beautiful. But yeah, that's going to be a win. Uh, I am also at war with Nexos, so what we we could be real cheeky and push our luck and take you out as well. You have eight cohorts. I have nine here. I definitely have the better general. Completely covers off the deficit that would... Oh, what? Oh, Nexos is now having a revolt. That's just beautiful. Uh, we can also call Amorgus into our war. I don't, I don't think I want to, if I'm being honest. Nah, no, I'm good. I'm good. That's a that's a big GG on that particular one. So we win that battle. We win that battle, and now we siege your capital. Oh, this is already mine? Why is this mine? How did I get this? Why Why do I now own this? How did that happen? Is it the case where if you own something for a while, it becomes yours? Like, um... Like you see in... Uh... Like you see in... Mayo and Taxes? You see it and it gave it to me? Yeah, that, that seems to be... Like, this is now my territory. I now have four territories. I have no clue how. How long does it get you to get there? 24th. That's next month. So when do you get locked? We'll, we'll pause on the lock. Uh, 
I'll get there on the 19th. You'll get a crossing penalty. You've still got five over me. This is going to suck, but I think I'll win. Maybe? Yeah, I'm killing more than he's losing. Yeah, plus two, but the negative three. That works in my favor. Oh, man, it's so close. I think I've won. It's also nice that I've got the tactic on him. Yeah, we're killing more now. Nice. <laughs> we killed so many. Also, the Siege of Nexos. We're going to expand bigly here. Wait, who's this? Oh shit, Nexos owns that as well. Nexos, yeah, they need to die. I do have call for pizza. And again, we need to redo trade. Get myself more grain. I think I'm going to keep these guys around. They're really handy. They don't own this yet. No, they don't. Good. Yeah, we'll siege that. Then we're going to go over to Mykonos, which is Delos, right? This is where Delos is. Uh, it is a city. No holy... Uh, yeah, no holy... Oh, wait, it is a holy site. The Temple of Apollo. Noise. Or Apollon. Close enough. Uh, this is farmland. We could attack. Or we could just use you. But yeah, this is really, really good. Uh, gain three tyranny. Nah. Honestly, I don't even mind getting some war exhaustion. It really boosts the amount of uh, military experience I'm getting. So, I'm alright with it. Yeah, so I don't know how I got this, but I'll take it. Uh, it's interesting it's not happening over here. This is the... Th oh, yeah, the Nexus Revolt. I'm going to sue you for peace, and I'm going to take your land. Lovely. All right, it's a stepping stone onto Amorgos. That I will need if I plan to conquer him. There's a scandalous Dominus. We'll just uh, do a token inquiry into the matter. It's not not a big deal. And then you hopefully get stack wiped. Nope. We'll just we'll just let that go go as it is. Uh, not sure you're gonna win that one. That's uh. Yeah, not sure. The scandal draws to a close. Thera gains five tyranny. Ugh. Yeah, nah. Tragic court, loss of justice and all that. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep these guys around. They're really good. Man has himself some spearmen. Skirmishers, some archers. It's good. He's useful. What I'm probably going to need to do is delete a bunch of forts, because I'm about to have a whole lot of forts in one region. Or in one... Oh, this is one province. This is another province. Okay. And then this is an entirely other province on its own. Yeah, I think we're actually going to be fine for forts then, probably. It feels like this is a, a, a huge province compared to... Actually, you're involved over here. Okay, maybe not then. Gaining stability is tight. Alright, so you win the Sage. And then we peace. Work exhaustion is high, but it's manageable. It's manageable. I wonder... We've got Celtic traditions. Seems like this is also something that may need to be changed into the future. 
If I vassalize this guy, I'd probably end up at war with my allies. But anyway, that is 100%, and we are going to 100% and take everything. Huzzah! Uh, we'll lose the aggressive expansion on both. That's fine. And we are going to disband the levy. We're at war still. Of course we're at war still. Quite and also indeed. I really don't like you. Can I peace out with you? Wait. I can't peace out. That's annoying as hell. Uh, let's get another import. Um, oh, extra papyrus. Sounds delightful. Let's get that civic investment cost. And what do we find out? In our new city, we have got a workshop. That's nice. I don't think I can build workshops. Oh, no, it's foundries, right? That's... Fuck. Ooh. That's nice. I think I'll be building some bazaars. I mean, in my capital, I can build three more buildings. Oh, damn. I need trade two. Okay, so we're going to be working on trade two. Urbanization two. Military structure one. Civ technology. Okay. I don't really care for garrisons then. Temples, no one gives a damn about. Theaters, probably don't give a damn about either, to be honest. Uh, harbors. Oh! That's nice. That is very, very nice. I'll be building one of those. A scribe school. Oh, I love this. It's like, yeah, you can only have one in each given territory, sure. Um, but the bonuses you get is just beautiful. The foundries, not as not as essential as they are in vanilla. Uh, peacekeepers, yeah, they're alright, I guess. Workshops are really nice. Granaries, same. Fortifications, yeah, ports. Okay. That's nice. Okay, so our country is now 13 whole goddamn territories. Which, I mean, you know, you can't be... You can't be arguing with that. Uh, what I will argue with is that. That seems reasonable. So you've got no spare trades. But uh, yeah, 12 out of 12 there. It's lovely. Is that Atlantis before or after it got volcanoed? Well, I mean, this doesn't look like a volcano to me. You know? So, I don't know what to tell you. It doesn't look like... Nah, it's, it's not... No, no, no. No, it's good. It's cool. Yeah, well, we could... Invite you to league? No, no, no. Uh, go kill these guys and get some money from them. Or, uh, I think it's pops, actually, that we get from them. I love how we gained a bunch of land and now we're losing money. <laughs> uh, probably because I have too many forts. So, you're going to lose your fort. I believe you can lose your fort. And you can lose your fort. Alright. We've got no manpower. I really like this war to be over. If I'm being honest. I could actually just win this war by fighting these guys. Yeah, no, no. No, this, this ain't on. This ain't on. Very much not happy about that situation, you prick. But we killed him and we gained a pop. Now let's just go help you out so I can end this war and, and maybe start a new one. Like, if his army is completely dead, then the war is over. So, may as well go help with that. I do believe, though, I will probably be keeping the mercs around for now. Extra morale of armies is nice. Thera's eruption was in roughly 1600 BCE. Well, we're currently uh, in 2115, so we've got about 500 years until this explodes. Also, now that we have a port, we now have mercenaries, or uh, pirates, I should say. Ooh, we also have something in a relic ready. Apollon's bow, which is actually shit. A bit of inflammation going on. 
And that is your war over. Come on, you've got no fucking troops left. Might have to do this all on my own. Fine. Maybe Paros is going to be the next conquest. He's got no allies. March in, take, yeah, yeah, yeah. I also love how in um, in this mod, you can march from Siphonos to Paros, uh, but you can't in vanilla. Not sure if that's the island geography bore before or after the eruption, modern caldera was formed by it. Uh, I mean, in the modern modern day, like it's like this part is gone, or there's like a tiny little island, and then this it gets, it's only like a, a backward C and then a little bit, if I remember rightly. Let's have a look at the rest of the world. Yeah, the, there's uh, some consolidation going on in Crete. Knossos, Eleutherna, Malme seems like the big three winners. Uh, in Cyprus... Stuff's happening here as well. I think if one person own, I think if one person owns all of this, they they can form like the Cypriot Kingdom or something like that. Mercs get hopeless. No, I'll just give the mercenary leader negative ten percent loyalty. That that'll be fine because Mercs can't go below a hundred. So that's uh yeah, that's a vanilla problem. Head in Nesut is doing really well in Egypt. Uh, Mary is a big winner there. Susan. Gutium still lives. Wow. The reclined state of Uruk. Where is Uruk? Holy shit. That's interesting. So usually what happens is they start off in, in this big war, Gutium versus all of these guys, and they just rip Gutium to pieces. And now instead, he's like fucking client stated him. That's brutal. That's very different from how I remember it going. That's fun. I like it. 49%. Come on, win your fucking war. Come on. Some breaches would be nice. I'd probably, probably be happy enough to charge through a breach. You're making me want to play this mod. I can't. I think. I think. That's kind of the point. <laughs> it's uh, it's certainly something that I do eventually want to do a multiplayer in as well. I think it's really nicely suited for a multiplayer. That would be, in my opinion, pretty cool. Can can we please can we please win this siege though? That would be pure delight. I want a bazaar. Bazaars do be looking proper good. Nexos, yeah. Need some more money, but Nexos is probably going to get itself a port. Probably going to get itself a polling station. I don't know. It's, it's going to get a whole bunch of stuff. I love the building system, though. I love, absolutely love limited building slots and limit, you know, buildings being limited as well. It's It just suits me so well. Uh, there's possible buildings in settlements as well. Of course, we've got the port, we've got the farming settlement. Provincial legation. That seems normal. We've got fisheries. Population capacity. Native five slaves. And you've got food modifier. That's good. Uh, I would imagine that that would be a building you can only build on a fish province. I, I suppose farming settlement works for that. Okay. Uh, tribal settlement there. And plantations. Eh... Uh, this used to be called the slave estate, right? I don't know. I think it's I think it's changed. I don't recall slaves for surplus being in the uh, slave estate. Six stability does sound pretty tempting. Ain't going la. Also, to spend the levy, get you to full morale. I think we're just going to go around just rocking the uh, merc because he's that bloody good. Also, Ios. Could get you to build something as well soon. How's you doing loyalty wise? It's still perfectly reasonable. Um, maybe I want to. I could. I could potentially go and colonize. 
where would I colonize? I, I could go and colonize something like Xerax and then, uh, you know, expand my way into the Peloponnese. That could work. I think I want to get a base in the Cyclades before I do that, though. Or, like, get a uh, Stira and then come at this guy from uh, both angles. Maybe. I uh, know, it's something something we think about for the future. Uh, but yeah, your turn to die. War without CB. Oh, did I not get a CB? Not on, I got a CB on literally everyone but you. How does that even happen? Well, get a claim on you instead, then. We could attack you. That 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 would be a huge war. I feel. What year does this take place? We are in the year twenty one hundred and fifteen BCE. So, long, long time ago. I'm gonna dissolve my alliances with these guys. I do eventually want to go and uh, murder them. Uh, yeah, I think before Karistos gets too big for his boots, let's go murder him. Yeah, 4,000 years ago. Long ass time. Ooh, oh shit, we got an Axeman now Is it in our levy? That's awesome. I suppose it's actually also the, uh, the ability to settle in Crete. That's totally, completely doable. That's cool. Oh, look, my lovely bazaar is about to be finished. I believe as soon as the monthly tick happens, I'm going to get... Oh, no, that's just commerce value. Okay. Didn't actually change all that much then. I guess the polling station is going to be the next one I want. Oh, Paros is at war with Karistos. Uh, why? Karistos has attacked Paros. Alrighty then. I ain't gonna help. I should have actually given him access, and as soon as he's around here and locked in place, declare war on him. That would actually have been a really fucking smart idea. If he asks me again, that's totally what I'm doing. Uh, it'd be cool if after a certain amount of time, a new cultures would come into existence, such as the unification of the Aegean and proto authentic people. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. I could see that being a thing. Uh, do we want Agnatic Cognatic? Oh, remind me of what all those differences are. So at the moment we're Agnatic Primogenitor. Oldest male child will always inherit. Agnatic Cognatic is female children of a monarch can succeed the throne if there are no valid male heirs. Oh shit, I don't actually have any uh, sons. Um, I'm going to say no because I'm quite happy with who my heir is. Yeah, you need to ask me for access again. <laughs> Manpower sitting pretty at seventy-one. No, it's seventy-nine, mate. But yeah, it's 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 pretty it's pretty low. We're in neutral stance. You know what? I want mercantile stance. I just want to boost the income. You know, it's not possible to build ports in the navigable rivers in Iberia. But I can't remember a sea coastal territory where this happens. Uh, yeah. Okay. So. Uh, I guess it's not really related to the mod, but I can explain why that is the case. In uh, Imperator, uh, it used to be the case that only certain provinces could build ports. Uh, they're signified by, you know, these birds above them. That is because in the game's files, every, you know, there is a, a, a file with, can you build a port in this location? And then it's got a list of all of the different um, province numbers. Uh, what Paradox did when they allowed you to build ports everywhere is just add every single province, or sorry, territory number to that file. They didn't do it for uh, navigable rivers. So they didn't add what would be Tefiu or, or whatever. Like, you know, it doesn't matter which one it is. But they didn't add the, the rivers. Um, certain rivers already have ports on them. Like, I know in the Po River Valley, there's um, there's a port at the end of that. Uh, near like Milan, there's some ports inside the Nile Delta. There's some ports uh, like Babylon and, and uh, Seleucia Megale have ports, uh, but you can't build ports anywhere on those rivers. It is just those ones. 
Um, personally, I don't like the change. I think it's a, a, a wholly negative change. Uh, so I'm, yeah, I'm not a fan. I, I think it was better before.